doubleheader of NBA playoff action tonight. Two game fives. First in Boston, closeout opportunity for the Celtics over the Heat, and the odds makers expect it to be the case. Then next up, nightcap in Los Angeles in a series tied at two games apiece. Who takes the series lead between the Mavericks and the Clippers? We start, though, first the RS inside TD Garden. Again, it's a 14-point spread. When you look at the money line, to win this game, to win this series outright, it's minus 1,000 in favor of the Seas. Even without Kristaps Porzingis for this fifth game, Boston incredibly expected to win this series in advance to the second round. But on this show, using the odds to form the conversation, that's not really our talking point. It's how competitive will this fifth game tonight inside TD Garden be? Can Boston cover as a two-touchdown favorite? Do the Heat keep it a little bit closer than expected? I don't know how close they can keep this game. Now, granted, we're, we're talking about you can still get blown out and cover 14 points here. And we're not taking a look at a total, Ben, that let's just say is 237 and a half, which could see the Celtics hit 140 points and have the Miami Heat get 111, right? So we're looking for much slower tempo today, staying under 200 points, which I think is legitimate cause for concern if you're looking to back some of these guys on points props. But for my money here, it's just... One team won't have the ability to score in the half court, and that's the Miami Heat. And you say yeah. to yourself, well, how do you yep. get around that? You really don't. Jimmy Butler's down, who's your best basketball player. Terry Rozier was brought in, what, midway through the season for that instant offense. He's not playing. And even guys like Jaime Hawkins, which are going to be out tonight, you say, well, why would that be a big deal? Yeah. The guy's averaging around double digits per game. And for a team that's challenging the score, you need as many options as you can. So what are we going to lean on? Patty Mills in this game to light it up from three-point range to bring you back into this? I just don't see it. And, yes, we've talked about Porzingis not playing for the Boston Celtics, but they're a much deeper team, much different scoring avenues here that they can use than the Miami Heat. You take a look in that lineup, and it's like, well, who can step up? I don't know. Derek White just dropped almost 40 points in the last game. They have the guys with that ability to score. So for my money, if I had to bet the game, I still would lay the 14 points. I would go with the under. Just on the simple fact is, I'm not down with betting teams that are going to struggle to score. That's not a recipe for success for me. Yeah, 92 and a half is the team total for Miami in both games three and four on their home floor in South Beach. They didn't even get 290 points. Boston has won three games in this series by at least 14 points. And in all three Celtics victories, the total has stayed under. Boston has been at least a nine and a half point favorite now in all five games. 14 points is the number at the moment. It's not going to dip below at least double digits at any point today. So really, when you look at where things stand, 14 points seems like a big number, but the Celtics have either won by 14 or lost by double digits. As we have shared multiple times, it was that game two upset where Miami shot the lights out of it from three inside TD Garden, handing the Celtics only their fifth home loss all year long, now in 43 games. Miami was 23 of 43 from three that night. And Caleb Martin, a big reason why, five of six. He was also four of six in game, four of eight, excuse me, in game number four. His three-point prop is one and a half. The over has the juice. I think if you're looking for value on Miami, it's probably trying to find the three-point prop that you like yeah. the most. Tyler Hero, Caleb Martin, maybe even Nikola Jovic, because that's Miami's way of keeping this game close. 200 and a hook is that over under. So we go from the game that we don't expect to be all that tight to the game that will probably be competitive tonight in Los Angeles. No Kawhi Leonard out there for the Clippers in game number five as LA returns home after a game four victory in Dallas. That series tied at two games apiece, and yet the Mavericks, even on the road, a three-point favorite. Total at 209. Who takes the series lead tonight in Los Angeles? Yeah, I'm going to back the Mavericks in this game. Not only because, again, I'm rooting for them to win. I think it's a smarter side here. And just going back and you say from a game-to-game -game basis, you saw the last game, which I was actually surprised that the Mavericks lost. You get that news that Kawhi Leonard yeah. is going to play. That should be a boon for the Dallas Mavericks, and it wasn't. And quite frankly, it was one of those, Ben, where I'm not watching the start of this game. I'm out. But I could go to my phone, and I have to hit like the – 
refresh button two times. That's not the score. They probably just didn't update the score coming from the Dallas Mavericks. They were getting hammered right off the bat. It's hard to come back from that much. But even if you weren't watching the game and you're on social media, you see all the memes coming through. Oh, my goodness. Look at this monster comeback for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, they couldn't complete it. And also, you have to credit the Mavericks for coming back, but also credit the Los Angeles Clippers for losing that big lead and still surviving and winning that game after being down late in there. That shows something for the moxie of that team, which still has a lot of great veteran yeah. players on there. But if I look forward to it and say, if we don't get that big lead, talking about we as the Clippers in that first half, at least up seven to eight points at the break, I just think the Dallas Mavericks are better overall. You're going to be relying on guys to score a lot of points on the Clippers that during the regular season, you sort of step back and be like, well, we have a big three. Let me just fill my role. Now guys like Russell Westbrook, who might be able to come off the bench or even start tonight, that are expected to score seven or eight points, they need to go with double digits here. Norm Powell needs to have a big game tonight to sort of make up that difference here because I don't think yeah. Paul George and James Harden can go nuclear from three every single game. I just think the Mavericks are a better team tonight. And granted, Luka Doncic may be struggling a little bit with his knee. Not struggling here on the FanDuel Sportsbook, Ben, with a 33-and-a-half point prop tonight, followed by Kyrie Irving at 26-and-a-half. I trust the two superstars on the Mavericks more than I do the James Harden and Paul George matchup here for the Clippers. I like that points prop for Kyrie. Of course, a 40-point performance in game number four. Luka yep. Doncic, who has attempted at least nine threes in all four games, only making one triple on Sunday in the loss. In game number four, his three-point prop, three and a half, and the over is heavily juiced at minus 178. What also stands out to me, Donnie, is that total. Yep. First three games, well under. Total for game number one, was 221 and a hook. Total for game number four, closed at 209 and a half, and it goes over for our first over in this series. It remains at 209 as of this moment. But again, the Clippers shot the lights out of it from three on the road in Dallas to keep things close. If that regresses tonight without Kawhi Leonard for the second consecutive game for the first time in this set, what does that mean for the offense? We'll continue to talk. Dallas, L.A. up next with a best bet on the other side as well. Two games tonight around the association. Game fives in the NBA playoffs. One game out in the Eastern Conference. It's a 3-1 series lead for Boston. The Celtics a 14-point home favorite. Looking to clinch this series even with an outright win over Miami. But the game we expect to be more competitive is game number five in Los Angeles. No Kawhi Leonard out there tonight in L.A. for the Clippers. And because of it, the Dallas Mavericks, a three-point road favorite. Donnie, let's focus on the total. 209 is that over-under. Again, the first over we've seen in this series happened on Sunday in game number four. 209 in a hook was the closing number. It goes over. Total for game one was 221 and a half. We have dropped by more than 12 points at this moment to reach where we stand in game number five. How much offense do you expect tonight in L.A.? Well, we don't need a lot of offense. And again, FanDuel opened that up at a 210. That's just now down to 209. Some other outlets also showing at 208 and a half. So you might be waiting throughout the day if you like the total, and it might be dropping just a little bit more here at the FanDuel Sportsbook. But for my money, I already told you, the Miami Heat Boston Celtics game, it's a 200 and a half, and I like the under. I actually like the over in this game because we're not waiting on Kawhi Leonard. It was announced pretty early Kawhi Leonard's going to be out. So the game yeah. plans will be set in motion. You don't need bad shooting nights here and say, oh, well, that's the only way it stayed under because if you're talking about 225 and a half 231 and a half regular season totals then you worry about it 209 basically if you think these two teams can approach 100 points apiece which I think they do you're probably in a good mix here I expect good performances out of both teams here and a solid tempo even with Kawhi Leonard out other guys would just have to step up if the three-point shots are flowing they'll knock this down and again we're not talking about a big price point 209 I'll go over here 18 of 29, that was what the Clippers were from deep in game number four, better than 62%. Now, if you expect some regression, maybe that factors into the over-under, but again, it's not a super steep over-under, albeit the largest of the two games tonight. 200 and a half is the over-under in Boston between the Celtics and the Heat. And I will make one final point about this series out west between the Mavericks and the Clippers. Again, no Kawhi Leonard tonight. His status moving forward, very uncertain. If Dallas does win, as the odds expect, the Mavericks, even if Kawhi is out there for game six, would be a favorite back on their own home floor. Plus 120. 
That is the number in the series correct score market for those series prices for the Mavericks to win this series in six games, four games to two. Certainly gets my attention if I believe the odds are justified making Dallas the favorite tonight with no Kawhi Leonard on the other side for Los Angeles.